Well, day 59, we are not in Parisburg right now. We actually drove over to Christiansburg about 30 miles away. And I got some new glasses frames, which is awesome. I think they're gonna be just fine. If not, we'll stop somewhere up the road and have them adjusted, but I think they're gonna be good. We're gonna go eat with Pringles. She's been a, a great help. Sorry I didn't do a real good closing yesterday, or for that matter, a good opening today, either one. But uh, anyway, we're heading up the trail and we'll see you soon. Well, heading out of Walmart number two today. I got my uh, medication filled. Um, got some permethrin for my clothes and a few other little knickknacks that I needed to get. And we are headed back to the hostel. I'll give you a tour around here when we get back there just a little bit. So sometimes on zero days, well, a lot of times on zero days, especially since I burned up so many in Damascus, I don't have a whole lot of content. Uh, but I did want to show you, this, this is one of our favorite hostels right here. This is Angel's Rest. Um, I think I showed yesterday that uh, they've got this trailer house over here that you can stay in. There's a few rooms that they're deep cleaning right now, getting ready for the through hiker season. Uh, inside the trailer, there's a full kitchen. There's a, a living room area that's uh, public space for hikers. Uh, bath houses over here. Uh, down below, they have laundry. They have another kitchen. And then uh, we've got the bunk house over here around to the left. And it's very comfortable in there last night. Of course, there, there were three of us in there instead of 14, but they've got room for 14 hikers there. And then I think they have some rooms uh, up here in the house as well. So this is a place that we visited even in the off season because it's just a, a very comfortable place for us to be and, uh, and we thoroughly enjoy it. So if you're uh, ever needing a place to stay near Parisburg, Virginia, uh, Angel's Rest Hikers Haven, that is your place right there. So something else interesting to do on a zero day. <clears throat> this is not all for me. I've got a few recipes. I'm usually the, the head cook at my house because I'm retired and my wife isn't. And I don't really care if the boys turn their nose up if something, if I make something as long as Beth and I can eat it. I always consider it a win if three out of the four of us like it. But anyway, I do a lot of the cooking at house and uh, I've got a couple of pretty easy to make filling recipes that I can throw, throw together fairly quickly. And honestly, I'm, I'm making a pot of vegetable soup, vegetable beef soup, obviously. And this meal actually is enough for Hawkeye and me and quite a few other people to share. And I've got less money invested in this meal than I do in the Mexican food that we had last night by five or seven dollars probably. Um, especially if you consider the tip, because I think our meal was 40 bucks last night. So $48 if you do a 20% tip. And I think this was 35 or 36. So I'm making up a big, a big huge pot of uh, vegetable beef soup that Hawkeye and I, I will eat on tonight, but we'll share it with the crew here and the hikers that are here if they want to. If they want to go in and get town food, there's a good Mexican place and a, a Chinese buffet and it's a really good pizza place uptown. So if they, if they want to do that, I will not be offended, but if they want to go do that and then come back and have some more food, they're welcome to it. It's a dead simple recipe, two pounds of hamburger. Over here, I've got uh, a couple of cans of veg all, uh, three or four potatoes. I've got about uh, that much parsley flakes, about two tablespoons of oregano, three tablespoons of uh, minced onion. And then the base for all this whole thing is just a, uh, a 64 ounce container of, uh, I usually use V8, but this was a little bit less expensive. So I got the, the, the store brand vegetable juice and you just kind of cook it long enough for the potatoes to cook. Um, I love having it with Parmesan cheese and Cheez-Its. And if you have some cheddar cheese, that's even better. Uh, I didn't spring for the cheddar, but we'll go with what I like instead of what Hawkeye likes tonight. He's the one who prefers the cheddar cheese, but it does make a mess in the bowl when it melts. But, uh, I don't mind to do a little cooking here and there. Actually, I kind of miss doing that occasionally at home or miss, miss doing that because I do it most of the time at home. I miss it occasionally while I'm not here. But uh, it's a really, really simple, easy, very filling, very heavy meal. Um, I guess the vegetable content of it makes it maybe not quite as high calorie. Uh, I got lean hamburger, so on the trail, honestly, I probably could have gone with an 80-20 hamburger, but this 93.7 was on sale for the price of the 80-20, and it's a whole lot easier to not have to mess with scooping out all the grease and all that. But uh, it's, it's a really good, hearty, filling meal. Um, so if you want to make that, you're welcome for the recipe. I know that doesn't really quite go along with my 
trail series, but we're on a zero day and I'm still waiting on you guys to toss in some Q and A's because the videos where I've asked for those actually haven't come out yet. So if you have some questions that you'd like to ask us to have answered on a video who are zero in somewhere, um, let us know, put them in the comments. I'm checking the comments here. I'll, I'll be for another day or so probably. I think we're gonna do some slack packing out of here. Our plan is um, to go back and pick up about 15 miles south of, of uh, Angel's Rest Hostel, which is where I got off the trail yesterday. And we'll do about 15 there, back into town. And then the day following, we will go northward and hike southbound about 15 miles and wind up back here another night, which will qualify us for the Parisburg, uh, uh, the Angel's Rest Hiker Hostel Vortex patch, which we already have one of those, but it'd be kind of nice to have two. So anyway, I'll let you be and I'll go continue cooking and I'll talk to you after a while. So while I'm in here, I thought I'd show you the inside of the uh, trailer house over here. They've got lots of videos if you wanted to watch a video. That's all hooked up down here. We've got Roku. We have Catan. We have a vacuum cleaner, but I doubt any hikers are going to use that. But good space here to, to chill. This is a, a private cabin. So after eight o'clock, this becomes the domain of the three or four people that are staying in the, in the bedrooms down the way. But until then, we've got full access to the kitchen and I'm going to get ready to sit down in this recliner and do a little bit of editing. Uh, soup is over here souping. It's about to boil. So we check on it. As soon as this thing gets to boiling a little bit, then I can turn the temperature down and just let it simmer. And I think we're there. So, so I can make that happen real quick. Turn it down to there and make sure we get a good rolling boil. And then once it simmers for a while, the potatoes cook through and it'll be ready to eat. So nice little place to stay here. I can't say enough about Angel's Rest as I have mentioned a few times already. Um, I've been up here a few times before already and uh, it's a place that we enjoy coming and uh, we'll absolutely come back. Well, the soup is ready. Hawkeye is serving himself. We're waiting to let everybody else know about it as well. So hopefully it will be a good meal for us. And uh, we're really glad to share here. I thought I would show you some pictures of the wildlife here at Angel's Rest Hiker Hostel. The There's Jinxie. Yeah, I don't remember his name. Jinxie. Jinxie, okay. Jinxie is wide open all the time and will chase that ball every time you want to throw it. Oh, uh, that's Lucy. Oh, is that Lucy? Jinxie's the Jinxie's cat. Jinxie's the cat. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, so Jinxie's the cat. Lucy is the dog. There's a couple of other dogs behind me, but I've got people, so I'm not going to turn around. But this is the closest thing to wildlife that we have right now at the hostel. So one of the things that one does here at uh, the Angel's Rest is uh, on the other side of this barn where you check in. This is their office area there's a place where you stand and have your picture made. So we're gonna get Hawkeye, but that's not it, it's over here. I know. Yeah. We'll have to compare the 2019 picture. You're gonna probably need to step, no, step. No, no, if you, I stand up, it's gonna be No, you need to step up. Hips. No, it's right, yeah. it's actually perfect. All right, so uh, there's, there's Gavin's picture with the angel wings here at Angel's Rest Hiker Haven. Nice, you wanna come get mine? Sure. I have to take my hat off so you can see my face. Yeah. Oh, you just put your hand in front of the lens. Sorry. I don't think I did, but I might not have. All right, so I'm taking the picture. No, you're just letting it run. The video's running. Oh, okay. My bad. Here's my picture in front of the lens. Am I setting it up good? Yep. Actually, almost perfect. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. So, anyway, this has been a, a very, very atypical video. Uh, as I said earlier in the uh, video, I think, if I didn't, I'll say it again. If you've got some questions that you would like to have answered uh, on days that we have zero days and we're kind of trying to fill some time, let us know. Um, we are actually going out tomorrow, but we're not technically leaving Angel's Rest. Our friend Pringles is going to slack pack us tomorrow uh, about 16 miles or so. And uh, that'll be coming from where I got off uh, yesterday back to here. And then the following day, she's going to uh, take us north and let us walk southbound back to here about 17 miles. And hopefully we're prayer, we are very prayerful that the weather will hold and, uh, and we'll have good weather for both those hikes or at least not horrible weather. Cause there is a, oddly enough, as late in the year as it is, there is a chance of snow in the forecast for both tomorrow and the day following up on the ridge here. Uh, and speaking of ridge, let me, let me spin slowly. I'll show you, uh, where we're headed. 
this up here is actually Angel's Rest, and that's why the, the hostel is called that. And at some point up there is the rock that we'll be able to, you know, step out on and, and get a view of the city. So this is what will be coming down tomorrow. We'll be traveling from left to right on your screen. And uh, you can see sort of this ridge line back over here to my right. Uh, that's what we'll be doing day after tomorrow. So we'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Check in with us tomorrow and we'll see you then.